Like, she ain't stiff nowhere, baby, nowhere. But, oh. Y'all yeah, watch it, this glueless install. That's my Uber Eats. <laughs> and she is literally glueless. Look. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Today's video, we are doing an install. And she's glueless. And this is my first glueless install ever, okay? Thank you, Love Me Hair, for sponsoring today's video. She's cute, full movement it's there no etna no stiffness we love it so if you want to see exactly how i achieved this glueless install that's my uber eats <laughs> if you want to see how i achieved this install then keep on watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe you got desires i know i know Okay, you guys, so we are about to jump straight into the tutorial. And luckily, I already have a braid now because I still have my braids in from my old style. So, what I'm about to do is cut them because I'm going to keep... I'm basically going to keep my braids in because it's a perfect braid down. But they can't be this long under my wig. No way, Jose. So I'm just about to cut them and I'm about to make sure that, you know, I cut them at a good length. So I'm not cutting my real hair. But you guys, I don't know why I have like the nervous jitters. I guess it's because I haven't worn a wig in so stinking long. So I'm like, oh my God, do I even know how to install them correctly anymore? Like, baby, it's been a minute. So basically, I'm just going to wrap the braids around like this under my cap and hopefully everything is laying flat underneath. But first things first, I have to put some oil on my scalp. You have to take care of your natural hair under your wigs. Like, this is my favorite oil. I make it, but definitely just grab your favorite oil, whether it's castor oil, coconut oil, jojoba, whatever it is, and get your scalp really moisturized. Get it together. Okay. This is going to help me not get dandruff. Just going to make sure my scalp ain't itchy under that wig. Oh my god, that's the worst. I'm about to eat. I can't wait. Okay, so now that my natural hair is all well taken care of, I'm going to put on this cap. I'm going to use this got to be glued spray wax. I've never used this before. Usually I use this one, but I'm very much so out of it at the moment. Oh, this is different. I got two nozzles. Okay. Does it matter which nozzle I use? I'm going to comb my edges out because I know they probably got some gunk on them. And I'm going to comb them back and then I'm going to spray them down so they are out of my way. If you're anything like me, you have long ass, grown ass baby hairs. And they have to stay out of the way so you don't like cut your hair. When you're getting your cap together. Okay, you guys. So, I don't even know how. But, some, some way, somehow, I managed to get all them braids under this cap, baby. And it's, <laughs> it's flat. Okay. Now, I'm going to go into my powder foundation. And get this cap to look a little closer to my skin tone. And I'm about to have a middle part. And this is a closure, actually. So this is really the only important part. So now I'm probably about to use a mixture of these, but mostly this. Because this is not holding like I want it to. Oh, two-in-one spray. Oh, reading is fundamental. Okay, so remember when I was like, oh my god, this has two nozzles. The first one, which is the one I was using, is a flexible texture. And then the second one is a structured hold. 
So definitely going to uh, put the nozzle spray over here. That's fancy. So is it like cut in half and this is one spray in this? Anyways, <laughs> let's get this cap glue down. sides because this is definitely a closure it's not a frontal so I'm about to go ahead and take that same powder that I used before and I'm gonna put it on the inside of my lace if you have lace tint I would suggest using that too but can you guys do me a favor and comment down below like the best lace tints that y'all have ever used because I need some recommendations girl and then I think I'm about to go ahead and just cut the lace off because to be honest, I know for sure that, like, you can use this unit as a glueless unit. Like, I can already tell. So, I'm just about to, like, go up and down and cut the lace off. Yes, like, do you see? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm about to attach the combs in the back. Well, not the combs, the clips in the back and put her on. And see, this is why I just love Love Me Hair and their wigs. Because first off, where's the freaking lace? Like, this is glueless, baby. This is glueless. And it's, like, blended in so well. Like, that's crazy. I look weird right now to my, like, to myself. I feel like I have an egg head right now. <laughs> and I know why. It's because I haven't worn a wig in so long let alone a bob like but but off camera i had got the part together and i didn't even mean to do it off camera i meant to do it on camera but all i did was grab um my like makeup concealer brush and i just went down the um part and when i had bleached the knots i over bleached just a little bit so i just used this kiss black dye and I have a specific toothbrush for the dye and I just like touched it up and now the part is like chef's kiss. So yeah, what I'm about to do right now is put a little bit of mousse on the edge brush. Oh, that was a bit much. <laughs> and I'm just going to put it like at the front of the hair because I want to push the hair back a little bit. I think that will make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to hot comb it. Barely though because, girl, this lace is so thin and it's so good. I don't want to burn myself, so... Just gonna pull it back like that. You see how that looks so natural? And then I'm like gonna barely touch the hair because I'm not trying to burn myself. Yep, that shit hot. Woo, baby, let me turn it off and just use the excess heat because no way, Jose. This lace is so stinking good. Oh my god. Oh my god, my battery will be dying. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to hit the back too, just to make sure it's real for that. I can't believe this is glueless! Ah! It's crazy! Okay, I think I'm getting used to it. So the last thing I want to do is put the nozzle back to the flexible hole. And I'm just going to spray the top. And then, you know, like slick it down with my hands because I don't want too many flyaways. Y'all literally like didn't even see me um, flat iron the hair because it really didn't need much. But I'm just trying to 
fill her out so I hit her with the flat iron just a little bit but hair stuck to my lip gloss but what do you guys think I think I like her it's just it's a bob and I'm not used to myself with bobs but I love the cut like let's get into I love the cut I love the length I love everything about this wig let's get into the body body of it like the feel and the density because she's thick like she ain't stiff nowhere baby nowhere but oh the movement is there for me i don't know what density it is but all of the details on this hair will be in the description box below if i didn't mention them earlier during like a voiceover but the more i look at myself and feel myself i kind of like it especially with this like all black fit with the silver accents but yeah you guys that really wraps up this video and again she is literally glueless bro but yeah y'all thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed please be sure to give me a like it really matters a lot to me okay um comment down below what you guys want me to do next in my upcoming videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye moms Shawty, you tried it. Voice getting filled with entitlement. Why would you tell me though?